I think what's unique about uh, Eliza and Zelda's relationship is that at that time in history, now, it, you know, it's, it's a foregone conclusion that people from different walks of life can be close friends, can be married, blah, 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 blah. But during that time, it was, uh, there were, you know, different social mores. Uh, and uh, in spite of all that, there was um, a profound uh, bond of friendship between these two ladies. Um, they were protective of each other. And um, I says it's, I think it says a lot to uh, Guillermo's um, and Vanessa's sensibility uh, as people um, to put those type of uh, character, types of characters in a, in a film who really, really are emotional support for each other. I think that's wonderful. The love story uh, in, in The Shape of Water, it's, you know, fairy tale, obviously. You know, a, a woman falls in love with a merman. Uh, but what it says to me is that our perfect mate is out there, the perfect person for you. Your perfect knight in shining armor may not be someone else's ideal, um, but they found each other. So. To me, at its core, it's about love being blind and love being unconditional. I think these characters uh, ring true to modern audiences because, A, they're grounded in reality. Um, they were janitors at a military installation. Um, so the world that he created could have been true. Um, uh, and the circumstances uh, with, uh, under which they're working uh, could have been true. Um, but sadly, the upheaval with regard to race relations in this country um, is still there. The otherness is still there. So um, uh, when you see um, Eliza um, Esposito, and uh, her friendship with Zelda and her friendship with Giles and, you know, a, a closeted gay man and, a, and an African-American woman, um, the believability is there. We all need different messages depending upon our, our, the tapestry of our lives. And what I hope, if, if people um, are in loveless relationships, that you find the courage to get what you need out of your relationship um, with regard to love. If it's about the political aspect and seeing people um, as whole human beings who have something to contribute to society, then take that. Um, if it's uh, the element uh, that pays homage to some of the greatest filmmakers in our of our time or you know before our time um, then then take those elements away um, I, I think there's a theme for whatever you know your unique lens uh, through which you view the world so I try not to say uh, what you should think I only hope that you do The film itself is one beautiful moment. Um, uh, the interweaving of all of these genres, nobody can do it better than Guillermo. And um, that in itself is a moment. The, uh, the fact that you have to suspend your belief to see these two characters and you find yourself rooting for these unlikely loves from disparate backgrounds is beautiful. And um, it says a lot about where we need to go as a world. So um, I would say the movie itself is, uh, is a, it's a feat. And I think Guillermo, um, being the filmmaker that he is, uh, has created a beautiful cinematic moment for people who really want to just immerse themselves in beautiful filmmaking.